Well g'day curd nerds, today we're going to be doing a taste test for Cotswold. Now Cotswolds are cheese I've made many times only because it's Kim's favourite, my wife's favourite and uh, she loves the taste of the onions and the chives that are throughout the cheese. Anyway, I made this in early March, uh, this Cotswold, and I had planned on aging it for three months. It's now September, so fairly close to six months old. Now, just inspecting the bag that I vacuum packed it in, there's no CO2 development, so the bag is very tight still, which is fantastic. Uh, I didn't expect it to off-gas or anything like that. The colour uh, seems to have retained its nice yellowish colour, which is good. Um, and uh, you can see the chives and a little bit of the onions there uh, through the cheese, which is pretty cool. So, let's cut into this beast. And before I do, I'll just move that wire out of the way, because what the last thing I want to do is cut through the wire with my sharp scissors. So, here we go. Using these scissors, they were sent to me by a viewer. Thank you very much. And they cut brilliantly. Great scissors. They're made by Fiskars, if anybody wants to know. And that's not product placement or anything like that. So just pull this out of its bag. A little bit moist on the surface. But my goodness, you can smell. Oh, the chives. And the onion. Oh, coming through so strong. Okay, that's fantastic. I love that. Let me just wipe my hands on the cheesy tea towel. Looking good so far. Okay, let's uh, just cut that open. Alright, that looks about a little bit more that way. Whoops. Slippery little sucker. Okay. Very good. Okay, so far, so good. Let's have a look inside. Okay, nice texture. Uh, very close uh, to the grain. There is no mechanical holes, which is fantastic. So I've pressed it hard enough. Um, but my goodness, she smells beautiful, really does she. Oh, it's, not in, it's not a female, it's a cheese, for goodness sake. So yeah, very nice indeed. So we'll cut the other half. I'll just put that over there. Cut it into quarters. There we go. Oops, moving a bit. Stop that. All right, cool. And the other half just as good as well. So I move the cutter board out of the way. Let's bring in the cheese board. Lovely. Really, uh, I'm very impressed with the way that it's fully closed, the structure, as it should be. This is a, a double Gloucester style cheese. Um, it's uh, supposed to be a little bit uh, on the tight side as far as the curds go. Uh, not so much on the crumbly side, but we'll check that out. Let's put those there. Grab a cracker. And in fact, let's just half. There we go. Half a cracker, be nice. All right. Now this is very good to serve up with a dark ale. It's known as a ploughman's cheese, uh, served typically through the UK uh, for ploughman's lunches, that sort of thing. Anyway, let's uh, see how she slices. Oh, very nice. A little bit crumbly. That's okay. So much so that it's the piece of cheese has come us come away. But let's try this little bit by itself. I did, the smell is just always amazing with this cheese. Oh, yum. When I first made this cheese, I was never a fan, you know. But this one... I must have perfected something. It's it's very nice indeed. You got the oniony, chivey flavour throughout. 
just the right amount of saltiness. It is, it is crumbly. Don't get me wrong. Because I've matured it longer than what I said it was going to. Mmm. That's nice. All right, what's it, what's it perform like on a cracker? Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Great texture. And great flavour, really. All I can say is this is going to be a winner uh, with the good lady wife. Uh, I think she's going to really enjoy partaking in the Cotswold cheese or Ploughman's cheese uh, for another name. Bloody delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I like it very much. Nice cheese. Um... I don't think I'm maturing any longer. I think that's just right. So that's about five to six months old. I think it would have been very mild at the three month mark. I'm glad I did age it to five to six months. I think it's six months. Um, and it's it's mellowed out very well. I don't think it aged any longer, that's for sure. Uh, it's got the right flavor right now. So I'll vacuum pack up the um, uh, three these three quarters of the cheese here and uh, put it into the normal kitchen fridge that'll slow down maturation to a crawl so it shouldn't age too much in flavor anymore um, so yeah it'll be it'll be a very good eating cheese any cheese platter but like I said especially with a nice um, light or dark ale oh lovely even on a warm day a nice crisp lager would probably go well with it as well um, what sort of wine would I serve with this probably a dry white I wouldn't want the character of this cheese because it's quite strong as in in the flavor the oniony flavor to overpower be overpowered by the wine certainly wouldn't serve it up with a a, a deep red like a Shiraz or a Merlot um, I think yeah a, a dry white wine maybe a Sauvignon Blanc uh, maybe even a, a Riesling um, I don't think I'd serve it with a sweet wine though I don't think it'd go with it but anyway that's just my opinion. Anyway, you can get the kit for this one over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Um, I think that the hard cheese kit would perfectly suit this cheese. Um, and you'll be able to make that. Don't forget that if you need a press, you can get that over at Little Green Workshops as well. Anyway, thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.